Alright, hey guys, it's Abomination9 here, back playing some more Bionic Heart. Uh, when we left off, um, what happened? Not a lot, I guess. Tom, uh, Luke and Tom were talking about some fight. They watched a fight together. Uh, and Tom, uh, Luke, I keep, I keep saying Tom now. It's Luke. Luke uh, got into a fight with his girlfriend that he's been married or engaged to for 10 years, who wants to get married with him, but he just been refusing for 10 years like an idiot. So, um, and now we have a female robot at our door asking us to open. Huh? Who's there? I don't want to destroy your door. It seems valuable. A female voice coming from outside. I wonder how it's possible that my alarm system didn't see her coming. What the hell are you saying? Do as I say, or in five seconds your door will be smashed open. Don't you think if you're running away, seeing a smashed open door would be very suspicious and they would be like, hey, maybe we should check here? All right, all right. I opened the door. the door. But be warned, I'm armed. Rather than calling the cops, because I don't really care about calling the cops. Killing you isn't my priority right now. What? Now I suppose I should be more relaxed about this? Ah! What? Shut up. But who... what are you? A robot? There's someone else in here besides you. Yeah, Tom. He's in the kitchen, but... Hey, Luke! Tom's voice. He's in the living room. He's coming here. Is everything alright? I heard you talking. Tom, I... What's up? You look scared. I turned around, and she was gone. Maybe... I had a hallucination. Luke, is everything all right? You look weird. Yes, uh, it's better if I go to bed now. I'm really tired. Sure, I have to go too. If you need any help, you know where to find me. Thanks. Bye. Good night. Whoops, I cut that off too quick. He left. But that thing, where is she? Over in your room, Tom. Oh, God, I keep calling him Tom. Jesus Christ. Luke. Okay, let's get that through our heads. His name is Luke. The less people know about me, the better it is. Her voice. It's coming from the bedroom. But your face. The self-regenerating tissue system does wonders. Isn't it true? Who? What are you? Regarding your first question, you can call me Tanya. About the second, it's really too hard to explain. Hey, so just she's just going by Tanya. Tanya, huh? Yes, you know, I don't like being called Prototype 9. Not really a cool name, indeed. But what exactly are you? I don't think there's anything wrong with Prototype 9. Not that for someone who, I guess, has a personality, they probably don't want to be called that. All right, I see then. Why are you here? You're getting excited. What? Why are you asking me that now? Sorry, but I can catch various signals from your body that's just a state of excitement. Hey, these options are way too, like, um, opposite of each other. Fear and like like those are like two like i want to i'm not gonna say polar opposites but i mean seriously i fear her i like her and like her can be misconstrued so i don't know and i don't kind of like her because like i said i don't like that's the problem like if we're supposed to be hooking up with someone in this game since i don't like the artwork i'm not gonna find any of these females uh appealing at least uh, visually, um, so it would just be strictly off of personality, and we don't really have a personality personality off of her yet. So I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say like because I I personally don't fear her, so why it doesn't matter. Well, of course, it's normal to be excited looking at such a beautiful being like you. I mean, I know you're not a real woman, but still. Okay, Luke, please. I see. That's why I was saying polar opposites. He, it's if since I picked like instead of fear, 
he she's just hitting on her now. That's not what I wanted, Luke. I wanted you to be like, oh, I'm not scared of you uh, or whatever, something like that. I didn't want to be like, oh my God, you're so amazingly beautiful. Come on, Luke, please. Luke, please. Yes, my creator had lots of fun playing with me. Whoa, Tanya. Tanya, that's too much info. Lots of fun? What do you mean? Oh, not in that way. I meant he had lots of fun modeling me, shaping my body. Ah, uh, yes, uh, of course. How stupid I am, thinking otherwise. Now listen carefully. I need to stay hidden here for some time. Huh? What? Okay, calm down, Tom. I mean, oh my god, why did I call him Tom? Was I calling him Tom earlier? Oh my god, Luke. You don't need to know more. But... Keep your usual life. Pretend that I am not here. Uh, yes. It'll be easy. Not that she's an ugly presence. Rather the opposite. Luke, stop thinking about... Stop thinking it in that kind of way, Luke. I think I'll get used to seeing her around rather quickly. Luke. Please. Okay. <clears throat> Since this isn't a uh, voice act, the game now switches into interactive mode. You'll see two panels below. On the left, the one showing the possible actions for the current location, and on the other, uh, and the other on the right to move into other known places. Okay, I wasn't expecting for this much control. To advance in the game plot, you'll need to talk to characters and interact with the environment. New game locations will be added later based on your actions or in the story. Good luck! Okay, so we're in my bedroom. And we can leave to the entrance, or we can examine my room, sleep on the bed, or talk with Tanya. Okay, I'm gonna examine the room, I guess. Now there's some ambiance background noise. Or background music. My bedroom is exceptional. A full latex bed with self-balancing sensors lets me sleep very easily. Besides that, there's a huge wardrobe on the wall, and a small nightstand on the side of the bed. Uh, latex? I don't know if that would be comfortable or not, Luke. Tanya follows me everywhere. I'm a bit worried about this. Luke, we've known her for like a minute or two, maybe three. How, how can you come to the, uh, uh, this, fuck, uh, whatever. Oh, so... Examining his room has not given us the choices to examine other things. That's pretty cool. Nothing special. My wardrobe is spacious, even if more than half of the clothes aren't mine or Helen's. I see a woman frequents this flat. Okay, flat. That imply. Oh yeah, we're in London. Never mind. I was like, she said flat, but I was like, oh, I just remembered we're in London. Yeah. You're Tanya remains silent, but looks at me, smiling. Seems like she's reading my mind about what I think of Helen right now. Inside the top drawer of the nightstand, there's my Phaser 3000. My personal defense gun. With it, I can melt any kind of metal. Well, okay, you said personal defense gun, but then you talk about melting metal as if it's a tool rather than a weapon. Are robots the enemy or something? So, I mean, she's a cyborg, robot, whatever. Cyborg android, I don't know. Like, is she just like 100% like created in a lab or is she half human, half robot? So, literally, is she an android or is she a cyborg? If I decide to do anything with it, I must be very careful. She's been keeping an eye on me, even if I don't think she noticed the pistol. Huh. I don't know if I want to take my gun. I take it she might notice. So I don't know. Should I just take it? I take the gun in my hand. If you're thinking about eliminating me with that gun, 
You may as well save your efforts. Oops. She's coming nearby in a menacing way. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shoot her. I just wanted a gun. Like I just want to have a gun on me for future. Uh, just uh, future whatever. As I told you already, if you're thinking about it. Whoever's after you sooner or later will get here, right? Yeah, future altercations that could ensue. No, I don't think so. I'm very good at hiding my traces. Well, I don't care. If you're in danger, I want to help you any way I can. Also, you wanted to break my door down, Tanya. I'm pretty sure that is not covering your traces or whatever the heck you said. You mean defend me with that gun? Absolutely. Are we going to get honey points for this? This is really nice of you. Thanks. Even if I think I won't need your help. Okay, we went up a little bit, but we're still neutral. So we have a gun. We examined our room a little bit. Also, how do we save in this game? Is it auto save? I can. We can talk to her one more time. I must try to get her to talk to obtain more information about her. I want to know more. Yes. What do you want? Okay, so we got options here. Okay. Okay. Ask what she is. She said that was a complicated question or something like that. So we. That's. It was complicated. So we might as well not even ask that. Ask why she's injured. Obviously, well, we we know why, but dramatic irony. Um, ask if she can leave the room or end dialogue. Why will we ask her to leave? I guess this. When you entered here, you had half of your face destroyed. Now I'm all okay, right? Yes, but you were injured by someone or something. What's your guess? Good. I understand. You don't want to tell me anything. Right. I don't understand. I work for Nanotech. Ah, interesting. Yes, I'm an expert in technology, but you, you're something unique. Not just a robot. What exactly are you? You can't be a robot. Such perfect technology isn't available yet. Luke, it's 2099. I'm not surprised, to be honest. Oh, thank you for the compliment. But... Oh, damn it. You're not going to answer my questions, right? Yes, you got it. Keep living your life like I'm not here. Uh, I don't... I'm not going to say that, so I'm just going to end dialogue. Wasted time. She won't tell me anything. A long night awaits me. Alright, so, yeah, can I save? Can I just, like, press X? Okay, I can. Save game. Oh, cool, and it just, like, saves just like that. And it literally where I was. Alright, so, yeah, guys, uh, I think that's it gonna be it for this time around. So, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I am will m way more, like, be more into playing this than Eve. So I guess I'm just going to drop off Eve and just play Bionic, Bionic Heart. I didn't really want to play Bionic Heart from the get-go, but I, it's okay. It's an okay game. I'll play it. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Tune in the next episode. Like, share, comment, what you to do. See ya.